Over the last two decades, alcohol-related deaths have spiked by nearly triple for young people between the age of 25 and 34, killing people in the prime of their life. But why and how does this affect you? Most people don't realize how alcohol affects their liver. The liver is one of the most important organs in the body. It performs over 500 functions, including building muscle, killing germs, and detoxifying substances that are harmful to the body. It acts like a filter, processing everything we breathe, absorb through our skin, eat and drink, including up to one alcoholic drink per hour. Let's take a closer look to better understand what happens once you go beyond that one drink per hour. Your liver starts to struggle. It becomes overburdened and can't process the alcohol. The stress on your liver can result in scarring and fatty buildup causing damage. And it's this continual damage that may go unnoticed for years because you won't feel anything and there are no visual symptoms until your liver may be beyond repair, resulting in alcoholic liver disease. Myth, everybody reacts the same way to alcohol. Fact, everyone is different. There are dozens of factors that affect reactions to alcohol. Your gender, body weight, body chemistry, time of day, how you feel mentally, fatigue, and the list goes on. People who consume four to five drinks in one sitting are considered binge drinkers. This concentrated amount of alcohol strains the liver and can result in more damage. However, there are solutions to lower your risk, like avoiding binge drinking and knowing how much you're actually consuming. Understanding the portion size of a drink, binge drinking, and how to cut back or cut out can be the difference between being healthy and active later in life or potentially losing your life. Myth. Your family are big drinkers and no one has ever gotten liver disease, so you're in the clear. Fact. Liver disease can affect anyone. You are more at risk for developing liver disease if you binge drink and consume excessive amounts of alcohol. I was a regular alcohol user. I was a social drinker. Um, and as I found out, my tolerance for liver was less than the average person. I was what I would call a social drinker. You go out to dinner and you have a drink, you go home and have a glass of wine or a cocktail that night to wind down. And it begins to be a pattern. It's obviously damaging over time. I began drinking in my early 30s, but I drank heavily. I was in a bad marriage, went through a bad divorce. There were no excuses. Yes, I binge drink. I did what any other university student would do. You know, went to games, drank like any other person that I never know. I just became suddenly ill one evening and turned jaundice uh, and uh, obviously knew something was wrong. I started to put on weight, especially around my stomach, but I didn't feel like I was gaining weight. And my eyes and my skin started to turn yellow. And at that point, that was the indicator that got me to the hospital the emergency room. And when I got uh, into the emergency room, that's where I got diagnosed with a failing liver. I mean, I was familiar with hepatitis being related to the liver, but I had never heard of alcohol related or alcoholic hepatitis. And I was very frightened because I wasn't given very much time to live. I was uh, too far along in the disease and uh, the only option was transplant. I was shocked with what I'd done to my body by drinking alcohol. Myth, drugs are a bigger problem than alcohol. Fact, alcohol is a drug and one of the deadliest. Cutting back on drinking alcohol can save you money, improve your life, and help you stay in control. To find out if you have symptoms or how to reduce your risk of liver disease, speak with your doctor and visit AmericanLiverFoundation.org.